Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me in our Tuesday evening practice teacher training session. I ask that we find ourselves in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a cow face. You may sit in any seat that feels good for you. Once we find our comfortable position, maybe we can gaze our eyes down or close our eyes using the down gaze to help us become centered and present at this moment. As we breathe in deeply, hold the breath, exhale. Allowing our shoulders to relax downward away from our ears. Our tummies are nice and tight our spinal cord, our backs are nice and long. Inhale. Exhale. Noticing how the exhale relaxes and soothes the mind and body. As we bring our palms at heart center, we are in our seated prayer. Maybe we can allow our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. Taking a moment to notice how we feel within our bodies. We are simply being aware without judgment. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our head in our seated salute, reaching our fingertips upwards towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch. Spinal cord gets nice and long, reaching up. Breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, right side, softly gazing over that right shoulder, noticing how our spinal cord is twisting and relaxing here. You may even feel your spinal cord crack. We're gonna hold this pose. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center, seated star, palms are off to the side, feeling that stretch, breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side, gazing over that shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center, seated star. As we breathe to our seated salute, palms up in the air, reaching the heavens. Breathe in. Exhale, seated prayer. Relaxing our bodies as we place our palms on the earth beside our bodies, noticing how this feels, feeling, feeling the energies of our environment. We are connecting to the earth tapping in with our environment, noticing how we feel at this present moment. As we lean our bodies towards the side, coming into a side bend, right side, left arm comes up above the head, feeling that side bend, tummies are tight, shoulders relax downward towards the earth, four breaths, Exhale back to center, hands connected to the earth. Leaning our bodies to the opposite side. Right arm comes up over the head, feeling that side bend. Relaxing our shoulders. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, connecting our hands to the earth. Breathe in. Exhale, seated salute, air, feeling that stretch, reaching our fingertips up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, breathe in. Exhale, seated prayer. As we flow our bodies to a staff pose, our feet are parallel, straight in front of us, side by side. Bodies are nice and long. As we breathe our palms up in our salute, 
and exhale to prayer. As we hinge at our hips, coming into a seated forward fold, reaching our hands downward towards our lower ankles or our feet. Our torso comes towards our legs. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down. Take a nice natural breath. Noticing how when we breathe, our torso comes closer towards our thighs. We're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, half seated forward fold. As we come back to our staff pose, relax in the body. Taking our right foot, placing it right foot on the earth, knees up in the air. We're gonna take our right arm, lift it up in the air, lean our bodies towards the left, come forward. We're gonna wrap this right arm around our right leg. Noticing how this feels. We can go deeper by taking our left hand if we choose and wrap that around our backs, interlacing our fingers, noticing how this feels in our body. We are in our Sage Marici here. Natural breaths. Feeling a nice relaxation. Two more breaths. As we slowly uninterlace our fingers, we're going to unwrap that leg, flowing back into that staff pose. Breathing our palms above our heads and our salute. Exhale the prayer. As we hinge at our hips, coming back into that forward fold. Gazing our eyes down. Natural breaths. Allowing our torso to relax downward towards our thighs. Exhale to half forward fold. As we breathe back to that staff pose, we're gonna switch sides, lifting up that left leg. Left foot is flat on the earth, knees in the air. Left arm goes up, body leans to the right. Body comes forward. We're gonna wrap this left arm around that left leg. We are in our Sage Marici. We can go deeper if we choose, taking our right hand, wrapping that right arm around our backs, interlacing our fingers. <sighs> Relax in the body. Our torso can be up. We can lean downward towards the earth. Whatever feels good for you. Two more breaths. As we uninterlace those fingers, unwrapping that leg, coming back into that staff pose. Breathing our palms back up above our head and our salute. Exhale the prayer. As we flow into our diamond or our butterfly pose, interlacing our feet, bounding our feet together, noticing how that when we are in our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. When we are in our diamond, our feet are further. Doing whatever feels good for you, noticing how we feel. Our backs are straight. Our chest is up, chin comes slightly up, and maybe we can do a couple of seated cat cows. Chest comes up, chin comes up. We are in our cow. As we exhale to our cat, back goes towards the back. Chin comes towards our clavicle. We're gonna do a couple of seated cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Ensuring our core, our abdominals are nice and tight. Three more breaths. As we pause back at our center, we're gonna hinge at our hips. We're gonna open up our hips just a little, slightly leaning forward towards our feet. Noticing how we can feel this in our inner thighs. Maybe gazing our eyes down and taking nice natural breaths. The breath allows us to relax and soothe our bodies, allowing us to go deeper into our pose. Feeling our bodies relax. 
fill in our minds, relax. We're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. As we exhale back to our center, using our hands to bring our legs inward. We're gonna come into a boat pose if we choose. Maybe connecting our hands to our feet at first and maybe starting out on the left side, straightening out that left leg. Noticing how this feels. And if all feels well, yes, lowering right into that boat pose. This is a balancing pose. We can always bend our knees if that feels good for us. Whatever we choose, noticing how we can feel this behind our legs and our hamstrings. Our tummies are nice and tight as our bodies are balancing here. We're gonna hold this four more breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> As we come on back in, coming into our diamond or our butterfly, relax in the body. We're gonna come onto our hands and our knees at this moment, coming into a tabletop, ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Gazing forward as we drop down to our cow, breathing to our cat. Our knees are hip distance apart, and we're gonna do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna flow into a sunbird pose, starting on the right side. Right leg goes off to the back, noticing how this feels. Tummies are nice and tight as we are gazed forward, have a control of our bodies. We can come into that full sunbird pose by extending that left arm forward. Yes, and at any time, if we lose our balance, we can always lower our toes downward towards the earth or keeping our leg up in the back, whatever feels good for you. We're gonna hang out here four more breaths. Breathe in, exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch, bringing that knee into that elbow if we're able. Exhale back to bird. Knee to elbow. Exhale back to bird. One more time, knee to elbow, holding it in for a couple breaths. Exhale back to bird. As we flow back to our table, we're gonna drop down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. As we are back to our table, and we're gonna do that sunbird opposite side. Left leg goes out to the back. Keeping in mind, we can always lower our toes downward towards the earth if that feels good for us. We're gonna extend that right arm forward, coming into that complete sunbird pose. Tummy's nice and tight. We are building strength here. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. One more, knee to elbow, holding it in. Back to bird. As we come back to our table, relaxing our bodies, we're gonna flow into a thread the needle, giving our bodies a little rest here, bringing our right arm off to the side. We're gonna thread that right arm through the left, our chest, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Yes, threading that needle. Nice deep breath. Exhale. Allowing our shoulders to relax forward into the yoga mat. Noticing how this feels. And if we want to go deeper, we can wrap that arm around our back. 
or extend that arm above your head, whatever you choose. Noticing how we feel, eyes are gazed down. We're gonna hang out here for natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm and unthread that needle, we are back in our table. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to our cat, lower back to our table. As we thread the needle opposite side, left arm is gonna thread through that right arm Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. As we breathe in deeply, exhale. Allowing our shoulders to relax forward into the yoga mat. We can wrap our around our backs if that feels good for us. Eyes are gaze down. We're gonna hang out here for more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, unthreading that needle, coming back to our table. As we cross our feet behind our bodies and find ourselves in a seated position. And we're gonna take this moment to gaze at our computer screens. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for allowing me to warm you up here this evening. And I just wanted to see if anyone have any questions or any concerns about the um, online yoga school, or if anyone had anything they wanted to share or practice with the group here today. Okay, great, all right, okay. Well, we are in our seated position. <sighs> Maybe take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As we gaze down. We're going to use this time to help us become centered once more. Natural breaths. As we breathe our palms at heart center, relaxing the mind, relaxing the body, as we become present in this moment. Two more breaths. as we flow back to our table, coming onto our hands and our knees. And we're gonna drop down to our cow. <sighs> Exhale into our cat. As we push our bodies up to our first down dog, maybe we can gaze back at our feet, pushing our torso towards our thighs, noticing how that allows our bodies to go deeper. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet. Tummies are nice and tight. As we exhale to up dog, coming forward. We are in our up dog. <sighs> exhale back down dog. Breathing back to up dog. We are working our arms, gaining strength in our arms here. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog. As we flow to our high plank, or we can come on down to a low plank, if that feels good for you. Whatever you choose, high plank, low plank. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Tummy's nice and tight. Two more breaths. As we exhale to side plank, breathing our bodies to the side. We can be high or low. 
we can come down to our knee if that feels good for us. Hanging out here, three more breaths. Exhale to center, coming to that down dog, gazing back at our feet, pet on our dog, I mean pet on our feet, walking our dog. Exhale back to high plank, hanging out here, two breaths, tummies nice and tight. We are building strength in our upper bodies here. As we exhale to side plank, opposite side, that arm comes up in the air. We can be high plank, low plank, whatever you choose. Dropping down to that knee if that feels good for you. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale back, down dog, gazing back at their feet. Breathing to our up dog. Exhale back, down dog. As we flow to our high plank, two breaths. We're gonna breathe down to a chaturanga or a low plank, whatever you choose, hovering over our yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhale up to cobra, baby cobra or cobra, whatever you choose. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Exhale down to Spanx pose, coming onto our tummies, relaxing our arms for a second. We are on our forearms, relaxing here, natural breaths. <sighs> Using the breath to help regulate our heart. Our bodies are not sunken, our shoulders are relaxed away from our ears. We're going to use this Spanx pose to relax and soothe and catch our breath. Four more breaths. <sighs> Taking a couple more moments here to relax and soothe. We're gonna come into a sleeping pose, crossing our arms in front of us, palms on top of each other. And we're gonna relax our cheek or our forehead onto our backs of our hands with our eyes closed or gaze down if that feels good for us. Our shoulders, our torsos are relaxing forward. Our mind, our body is completely relaxed. We are centered. We are focused in our present moment. We're gonna hang out here, five more breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> As we slowly come out of that sleep pose, we are back in our Spanx pose. As we bring our palms towards our torso, pushing our bodies up to that cobra. <sighs> Exhale, up dog. Breathe down dog. As we come into a three-legged dog right side, bringing that right leg up in the air nice and high. Gazing back at our feet, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Breathing our right knee to our right elbow. Feeling that crunch if we're able. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. We are working our arms here. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Hanging out here. Three breaths. Building strength. Exhale, three-legged. Breathing to our down dog. Gazing back. Maybe cut on our feet, walking our dog. <sighs> Natural breaths here. As we continue to flow, three-legged dog opposite side, left legs in the air nice and high as we gaze back at that foot. <sighs> Breathing, left knee to left elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. 
Knee to elbow, holding it in, building strength. Back to three-legged. <sighs> Exhale, down dog. As we flow to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms. <sighs> we are in our dolphin on our forearms. He has relaxed in the body. Maybe we can walk our feet closer towards our torso. <sighs> Noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air. This pose here prepares the mind and body for headstand. We're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. <sighs> As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, bringing our torso towards the earth. Maybe we can extend our arms in front of us if that feels good for us. As our heart chakra touches the earth, our eyes are closed, our mind and bodies are relaxed. Five more breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> Relax in the body. And now we're extended child's or puppy pose. Maybe walk our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch, staying in that pose, simply just walking our fingers forward. Noticing how this feels in the body. Feeling that stretch. And if we choose, maybe we can rock our body from side to side in our child's pose or puppy pose. Noticing how that relaxes and opens, loosens up our hips. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we come into a couple of spinal waves, we're gonna um, use our hands to push our torso forward and push our bodies backwards. Doing a couple of spinal waves, using this spinal wave to relax and soothe. Noticing how our spinal cord is relaxing. You may even feel a couple of cracks in your spinal cord. We can even do a couple of circular rotations at our hips, whatever you choose. We are using this pose to relax and soothe and play around here. Three more breaths, final waves. As we find our pause, coming back into our table, as we push our bodies back up to that down dog. <sighs> Gazing back at our feet, pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch nice and deep. As we come into a complete forward fold. Relaxing our bodies here in our forward fold. Maybe we can come into a rag doll, if that feels good for you. Hugging our elbows from side to side. <clears throat> Noticing how that relaxes and soothes the body even more. And if we choose in our rag doll, maybe we can sway our body from side to side. Noticing how we can feel it in our hamstrings. Relaxing the body here. Going inward. As we find our pause, coming back to that complete forward fold. <sighs> Exhale to half, forward fold. <sighs> Yogi walking our legs slightly apart, knees or hip distance apart or wider as we come into that goddess pose. 
coming nice and deep now into that. Yes, now we are working our, our quads, the lower parts of our bodies. The first portion we work our upper. Now we're gonna show some love to the bottom parts. We are here in our goddess pose. We can come into our cactus arms. We can come into prayer hands, whatever you choose, hanging out here. <sighs> Breathing up to our standing star, straightening out the legs. We are in our standing star. Arms are off to the side. Feeling that stretch. Exhale back down to the goddess. Working our bodies here. And in our goddess pose, maybe we can do a couple of goddess pulses. Slightly coming up, slightly coming down. Noticing how we feel this here in our thighs. We are working on firming and toning our legs. Allowing our bodies to look nice and toned in our jeans. Hanging out here a couple seconds, finding pause as we slightly rock our bodies left and right. Feel that rock this way. And yes, you can feel it here in your quads, body, legs are getting nice and warm. Feeling that burn. Three more breaths. <sighs> finding pause. Exhale up to our star. We are in our standing star. Legs are off to the side. Arms are off to the side. Holding this pose. Two breaths, breathe in deeply. Exhale to a wide-legged salute. Arms are up in the air. Exhale to prayer. <sighs> Breathing back up to that standing star. As we come on down to our goddess pose, hanging out here for a couple breaths. Two more breaths. As we come on down to that squat, Coming down a little bit more deeper, we are now in our squat. We are working our gluteus maximus as well as our thighs. Working on our lower parts of our bodies. Hanging out here, a couple breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Feeling that burn. Exhale to Tadasana, wide-legged Tadasana. Legs are apart, palms are at our side. <sighs> Exhale up to our salute. <sighs> Staying in wide-legged. Coming back down to our Tadasana. Breathing, bringing our legs together. We are back in our regular Tadasana. Palms are at our side. We're going to try something else out here. <sighs> we're going to work on an airplane pose. Before we go into that airplane, we're going to start on our left side lifting our left leg up in the air yes noticing how this feel this is a balancing act if anyone need to come off their yoga mat please feel free to do so we have one leg up in the air see that there just up in the air noticing how that feels yes and maybe we can bring our arms up slightly like we're in a yes like we're coming into a ninja kick you know those those ninja kicks arms come up noticing how this feels yes Elbows, I'm, yes, elbows, shoulders, shall I say, comes up towards the ears, feeling that. Notice how this feels. As we slightly lean forward, we are flowing into our airplane. Yes, we can keep our legs slightly down. We don't have to bring that leg all the way back. We are in our airplane. Arms are forward, yes. Noticing this, we are balancing our bodies. We are also building strength in that right leg. Tummies are nice and tight. Now, if anyone choose to go into a warrior three, you may go into that warrior three. But an airplane pose is a wonderful pose to prep the mind and body to go into that warrior three. See that there? But if we're not able, we can hang out here in this airplane mode, building our strength, building our balance. Three more breaths. <sighs> Legs are getting nice and warm. You may be feeling that burn. Keep on going, building strength here. Exhale to our Tadasana. Relaxing the body. Maybe we can pedal our feet. Noticing how that relaxes and soothes our hip. <sighs> Relaxing the body as we breathe our palms up into our standing salute or our standing extended mountain. Hanging out here, maybe coming on our tippy toes, coming down, coming up. Yes, noticing how that relaxes and soothes the leg we was just working. Finding our pause, relaxing on our feet, breathing down to our prayer, relaxing the body as we switch sides. 
We're going to play with our airplane mode on the opposite side. Right leg is slightly off the earth. Yes. Notice how this feels. Huh. Breathing our hands up like we're going into that warrior, that, that ninja kick if you choose. We're just playing around, having fun here in this, in this ninja stand before we flow into our airplane. Slightly leaning forward, using our hands as our balance. Our leg is slightly off to the back. We don't gotta come high, we can slightly be like, yes. Building strength. If anyone choose to come into that full warrior three, feel free to come into that full warrior three if you are if you choose. If not, we can hang out here in our airplane mode. Building strength in our leg. <sighs> Allowing our bodies to balance with the airplane hands keeping our strength, keeping our balance. Ah, legs getting nice and warm. We're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. Firming up this leg. Ah, two more breaths. Exhale to Tadasana, palms are at our side. As we breathe up to that standing salute or extended mountain, hanging out here, coming on our tippy toes, noticing how the tippy toe crosses, relaxes and soothes the mind and body. It's a counter stretch to what we just did. Two more breaths. Exhale and flat on our feet as we breathe to a standing prayer. Hinging at our hips, forward fold. Flowing down to a complete forward fold. Relaxing the body. Starting to sweat here. Okay, hanging out here as we come to a half forward fold. <sighs> Breathing back up to our Tadasana, palms are at our side. As we come to a standing salute or extended mountain, feeling that stretch as our bodies lean to the right. Standing crescent moon, feeling that side bend. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center, crescent moon opposite side, building that side bend. <sighs> Exhale back to center, breathing to standing prayer. Exhaling to chair pose, continuing to work our legs here. We are in our chair. <sighs> Noticing how this feel, we can be in chair prayer or extended chair, whatever feels good for you. Working our quads, hanging out here, five breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Tear pose, twist right side, twisting that body. Three more breaths. Exhale to center. Two breaths. Building strength. Chair twist, opposite side. <sighs> Exhale back to center. Two breaths. Complete forward fold. Relax in the body. This here, this forward fold is a counter stretch to the pose we just did. It relaxes and soothes. We're gonna hang out here for breaths. <sighs> Exhale to half forward fold. <sighs> Breathing back to complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, coming back to that down dog. <clears throat> Gazing back at our feet. <sighs> Three legged dog, right side. Right foot, right hand, we are in our runner's lunge, hanging out here, catching our breath. <sighs> Walking our right leg to the edge of our yoga mat. We're gonna bring that right hand inside of our leg, preparing our bodies for lizard, dropping that back knee if you choose. As we come on down to our forearms, we are in our complete lizard. We can always use a block if we choose, placing a block in front of us and hanging out on a block. <sighs> the lizard pose prepares the mind and body for split. 
three more breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Relaxing the body, pushing our body up out of that lizard. Keeping our, our hand inside of our leg. We're gonna come off that back knee if we was down on the back knee, coming off that back knee, kind of like we're in our runner's lunge. And we're gonna do a low lunge twist. Twisting towards our leg, right arm goes up in the air. Gazing up at the arm, we're gazing forward. We are in our low lunge twist. This actual twist is called a revolve twist because our bodies are twisted towards our leg. That's why it's called the revolve. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling forward, palms are on the ground. And now we're gonna do a low lunge twist opposite side. Twisting that back foot, left arm goes up in the air. Now we're in a low lunge twist. Gazing up at that arm or gazing forward. <sighs> yes. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. We are back in our runner's lunge. Straightening out that front leg. Yes, we're gonna straighten out that front leg, coming into our pyramid. Allowing our torso to relax down over that front leg. This is a counter stretch. Noticing how this pyramid relaxes and soothes. Gonna hang out here, four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to runner's lunge, bending that front leg. We are back in our runner's lunge. As we exhale, down dog, gazing back at our feet. Pedaling our feet, walking our dog. Using the pedals of the foot to relax and soothe that hip we just opened. As we flow into a three-legged dog, left side, left legs in the air. Left foot, left hand. We are in our runner's lunge, opposite side. Gathering our strength. We're gonna lower that back leg if we choose. But before we do that, Let's walk our left foot to the edge of our yoga mat, bringing our left arm inside of that left leg. Now we're gonna lower that leg down if we choose. So we're gonna come into a lizard, allowing our forearms to come downward. Our bodies are between our leg. Yes, this pose prepares the mind and body for split. We're gonna hang out here for more breaths. <sighs> Relax in the mind. Relax in the body. Two more breaths. <sighs> Coming out of that lizard, using our hands to press our torsos up. <sighs> Taking a moment here to rest. <sighs> if our back leg, if our back knee is down, coming up, kind of like we're in that runner's lunge, yes. And we're gonna twist our bodies Twisting that right arm up in the air. We're gonna gaze up at that right arm or gaze forward, whatever feels good for you. We are in our low lunge twist. <sighs> Hanging out here in this twist. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale forward. <sighs> We're gonna twist that body to the opposite side. Left arm comes up in the air. As we gaze up at that left arm, feeling that revolve twist. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhale forward, coming back to that runner's lunge. As we straighten out that front leg, we are in our pyramid, allowing our torso to relax over that leg. This is a counter stretch. <sighs> Three more breaths.
Exhale to run this lunge. As we flow back to down dog, gazing back at our feet. Drop into our forearms, coming into our dolphin pose. Walking our feet closer towards our torso, buttocks comes higher in the air. Three more breaths. As we drop to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Relax in the body. Eyes are gazed down or closed. As we take nice, natural breaths. Our bodies are melted forward into our yoga mat. We are completely relaxed. We're gonna hang out here five more breaths. Two more breaths. Staying in our child's pose or puppy pose, maybe walk our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling it stretch. Maybe we can sway our bodies from side to side if we choose. Using the sway to loosen up our hips. As we come back to center, we're going to do a couple of spinal waves here, using the hands to press our bodies up and push our bodies back. We're spinal waving, relaxing and soothing. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pose at table, and we're gonna push our bodies back up to that down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Three-legged dog, right side, right legs in the air. Right foot, right hand coming into that runner's lunge. As we come up to a high lunge or a warrior one, holding out in this pose for a couple breaths, building strength. Exhale to warrior two. Back to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. As we flow to reverse warrior. Breathe side angle or extended side angle. Hanging out here, three breaths. Flow into that runner's lunge. Exhale back to pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet. As we flow to up dog. Exhale back, down dog. Breathing to three-legged dog, opposite side. Left leg's in the air. Left foot, left hand. We are in our runner's lunge. As we flow up to our high lunge or warrior one, <sighs> building strength in our legs. Two more breaths. 
Exhale, warrior two. Back to warrior one. Warrior two. Feeling the movements here as we flow to our reverse warrior. Exhale the side angle or extended side angle. Three breaths. Exhale forward, runner's lunge. As we flow to our pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Exhale, down dog. Coming to our complete forward fold. <sighs> Exhale, half forward fold. As we breathe up to our Tadasana, palms are at our sides. Exhale, standing salute or extended mountain. <sighs> Exhale, prayer hands. <sighs> As we hinge at our hips. Bending our knees, coming into a chair pose. Extended chair pose or prayer hands, whatever you choose. Working our thighs, working our quads. We're gonna hang out here for more breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale down to a yogi squat or a frog pose. Whatever you choose, yogi squat or Frog pose, frog pose, heels are connected. And we come on down like this. Yogi squat, we're just squatting, whatever you choose. <sighs> catching our balance, catching our strength, backs are nice and tall. As we breathe our palms above our head, coming into a, a prayer, hands above our head, or um, salute, shall I say. <sighs> Exhale to prayer. We are building strength here in our lower legs. Exhale back up to salute. Feeling the movement. We can stay in, in the um, prayer hands if that feels good for us. Back to our prayer hands. We're gonna hang out here four breaths, doing whatever type of yogi squat or frog pose you choose. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhale, coming onto our buttocks, relaxing our bodies. <sighs> coming into a diamond or a butterfly. Feet are bounded together. Using our hands to massage our feet. You know, showing our feet a little bit of love. Our feet carries us everywhere we have to go. So maybe take this moment to apply pressure to our toes or the balls of our feet, wherever we feel may be needed. Noticing how this feels in our mind and our bodies. Two more breaths. As we hinge at our hips, allowing our torso to come closer towards our feet. Noticing how this opens up our hips. Eyes are closed or gaze down if that feels comfortable. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Exhaling back up to our seated position. We're gonna come on on to our backs, relaxing on our backs, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. <sighs> relaxing our bodies, allowing our shoulder blades to relax back into the yoga mat. Eyes or gaze down or softly closed as we allow our knees to fall towards the left. We are gonna come into a reclined spinal twist. Knees fall to the left. Right arm goes off to the side. As we gaze over that right arm or gaze up at the heavens, whatever you choose. Body's completely relaxed. 
melting back into the yoga mat. Eyes are closed. We're going to hang out here five more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. Breathe in. Exhale, spinal twist, opposite side, knees fall towards the right. Left arm goes off to the side. We can softly gaze over that left arm or gaze up at the heavens. With our eyes gaze down, our shoulder blades relax back into the yoga mat. May we find our center in this present moment. We're going to hang out here for five more breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale back to center, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale, coming into our happy baby. Feet comes up in the air. Hands come inside of our legs as we reach down and connect our hands to our feet. Our backs are melted completely into our yoga mats. Our eyes are gazed down and closed as we relax in our happy baby. Mm. Maybe we can rock from side to side if that feels good for you. Maybe you can play with your feet, lifting your feet up towards your head, whatever you choose. We are going to freestyle in our happy baby for seven natural breaths. Three more breaths. Hmm. Breathe in deeply. Exhale on our legs straight up in the air. Legs on the wall pose. Invisible wall in our case. Reaching down to the lower parts of our legs, bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling that stretch. Exhaling our legs back up to legs on the wall. <sighs> Crossing our feet at our ankles. We're gonna come into a boat pose. <sighs> Relax in our bodies. We can keep our feet crossed or we can straighten out our legs. <sighs> Whatever you choose. Woo. In our boat pose, we are working our obliques. We are also balancing our body. <sighs> Gonna hang out here, six more breaths. Tummies are nice and tight. Having control of our core. Yes, and I see 
Marie's already doing the boat pose taps. We can tap our hands from side to side if we choose, if we choose, working our obliques, also going deeper on our core abdominal muscles. We're gonna hang out five more breaths. Three more breaths. Tummy's nice and tight, feeling that burn. <sighs> Three more breaths. We're gonna do a couple of bonus points here, working on tightening our abdominal muscles. <sighs> Finding pause, keeping our legs in the air. We're gonna connect our hands to our feet. <sighs> Straightening out that left leg. Left leg comes out to the side, both pose variation. As our right leg come off to the side, our bodies look like a V. We also call this a bear pose. Keeping in mind, we can bend our feet, our knees, if that feels good. Three more breaths. <sighs> Relax in the body. <laughs> I see you, Sandra. <laughs> yes, it's so much fun when we fall. It feels so good. <sighs> Let's hang out here. Three more breaths. Bonus points. <sighs> Exhale and bringing our feet in, coming into that diamond pose with that butterfly pose just for a second. We're gonna do a couple of seated cat cows. Chest comes up, chin comes up. We are in our cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our cow. Breathing back to cat. <sighs> As we come onto our back, we are back on our backs. We are in our reclined position. Our feet are flat on the earth. Our knees are up in the air. We're gonna work on a bridge pose here, using our feet and our hands to push our gluteus maximus off the earth. We worked our abdominal muscles. Now we're gonna work our gluteus maximus. Using our feet, our buttocks is high in the air, feeling our buttocks get nice and tight here. Mind is relaxed, body's getting nice and strong. And maybe we can do a couple of pulses, bridge pose pulses, if that feels good for you. Bringing our body halfway down and coming up, nice firm grip, working on rounding and lifting our gluteus maximus. Buns of steel here. We're gonna hang out here in this bridge pose, 10 natural breaths doing whatever bridge pose you feel good to do. Keeping in mind that we can come into a three-legged bridge as well, if you choose. <sighs> Seven more breaths, bridge pose. Four more breaths. <sighs> Buns of steel here, five more breaths. We're gonna do a couple of bonus here. Lifting our buttocks up in the air, feeling that nice crunch. <sighs> Three more breaths. Bridge pulse pulses, pulsing our buttocks in the air, feeling that burn. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale down, bringing our feet into our chest, hugging the bed nice and tight. Noticing how that relaxes our gluteus maximus. <sighs> Straightening out our legs, we are back to legs on the wall pose. Reaching down to the lower parts of our legs, bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling that stretch. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. As we drop back down to our happy baby, bringing our knees into our chest, noticing how this happy baby relaxes and soothes our gluteus maximus muscle. We're gonna hang out here five more breaths. <sighs> Playing around rocking, whatever you choose. Mm. 
two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall. <sighs> Breathing our knees in towards our chest. Straightening out that right leg. Right leg is straight to the side in front of us. Lifting our left leg up in the air, feeling that stretch. We got one leg straight, opposite leg is up in the air, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Bringing both knees into our chest. Left legs out to the side, nice and straight. We're gonna lift up that right leg, feeling that stretch. Both knees, <clears throat> both legs come in, knees to chest, hugging them in. Exhaling down to our Shavasana. Both of our legs are parallel, side by side. Our eyes are closed, or gaze down. The heels of our feet are connected. As we allow our feet to fall to the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs. Our shoulder blades, our backs are melted backwards into the yoga mat. We are one with the earth, completely embedded, completely relaxed. We are centered. We are centered. With our eyes gaze down. May we hang out with, hang out in our Shavasana for 10 natural breaths. Five more breaths. Two more breaths. Keeping our eyes closed if we choose. May we roll onto our sides, coming into a fetal position. Continuing to relax the mind and body. We're gonna hang in this fetal pose by natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes and maybe rotate our ankles in circular motions, 
moving our bodies at our hips, using the movements to awaken the body. We can keep our eyes gazed down if we choose as we use our hands to push our bodies up, coming into a seated position. I'm going to come into a cow face. May you come into any seat that feels good for you. As we continue to gaze down, spinal cord is long. Our tummies are nice and tight. Our shoulders are relaxed down away from the ears. Breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Exhale through the nose. Noticing the difference between the exhale through the mouth and the nose. Simply being aware of the difference. As we breathe our palms at heart center, we are in our seated prayer. Our thumbs are touching our sternum. Our eyes are the or gaze down or closed. Natural breaths. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. For self-care is a necessity. And may we all realize that it is impossible to pour from an empty cup. Which is why we must take care of self if we want to take care of another. I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care here with you today in our practice teacher training session for it truly, truly was a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.